Hey, it's Anastasia. So I go to school in New York City and it's not the cleanest city in the world, but there I rarely ever got sick. At most it would be like a head cold that would be gone the next day. And so coming to Tokyo, one of the cleanest cities in the world, I didn't expect anything crazy to happen. Um, I feel like I have a pretty strong immune system from living in New York. So coming here to a cleaner city, I thought I would just be fine. At most, maybe another head cold or something. But I was proven very, very wrong. I got sick and so did a lot of my friends. Um, and it was really bad. I think I ate something bad, so it was more probably food poisoning versus my immune system being weak. But I was throwing up, I couldn't leave my dorm for like two days, and it was honestly the sickest I'd ever been since high school. And I met her now, but I realized that coming to a brand new country, um, adjusting to a brand new time zone, and coming from the US to Japan, it's a 14 hour difference, so it's just completely switched. And also differences in diet, and just being in an entirely new environment with different bacteria, and just different air quality can definitely take a toll on your health and cause you to get sick. I feel like part of it might be partially unavoidable because your body is going through so many changes and it does take a while to adjust and it might be a little rough, but I think there are ways to definitely help and Japan definitely has a lot of remedies and sp Japan specific things that you can do to help yourself get better if you're sick or just avoid it. This video is going to focus more on kind of more mild sicknesses that you can take care of on your own. Um, if it's to the point of you needing to go to the hospital or visit the doctor, um, every study abroad student is connected to international SOS. Um, and from there, like they should be your first point of contact if you need to go to the doctor. So before you even depart, it's smart to bring your own medicine. Um, and this is, is just more so like over-the-counter medicine. Uh, medication, I think, is a different process. But um, I have a dad who's a crazy planner and had packed all his medicine for me, like stomach medicine, um, just ibuprofen, stuff like that, some herbal medicines. And I am very grateful because I wouldn't have packed it myself because I thought I just wouldn't get sick here. Um, but I think it's also very useful because when you're bringing medicine from home, you already know that it works for you. And also, when I got sick, it was in the middle of the night. I barely had enough strength to like stand up for more than 30 seconds. So it was great to already have medicine available in my dorm that I could just take right then and there, rather than having to look up medicine and then go to the pharmacy and have to deal with all that. If you do need to get medicine, um, I would probably do it as soon as you get to Japan, and also definitely do your research. Um, I'm pretty sure there are medicines here in Japan that you probably can't get as easily as you could in America, um, and probably it's called something different or the packaging is different, so just make sure you look it up in advance before you go to the drugstore. So next I'm going to talk about some Japan-specific things that helped me get over my sickness. So the first one is drinks. Um, first are the Atatakai vending machine drinks, the warm drinks that just come warm right out of the vending machine. Um, this one is my favorite. It's like a warm lemon honey drink that was 100 yen. Um, and it comes out warm, there's lemon in it and honey to really help soothe your um, throat. And it's just nice to drink warm drinks while you're sick to help you heal. The next one are these vitamin C lemon drinks, which I just really like to take to kind of help with my immune system to, to get it back like working again and stronger. And these are also really cheap. They're, this one I think was around 80 yen, which is really nice. So the most visible thing that you see walking on the street that people do to stay healthy and not get sick is wear masks. So this mask, um, was free from my dorm, shout out to Haksan. Um, but you can get them at pretty much any store um, and they have different designs. There's like black ones, like Hello Kitty ones. So you can get creative with it, but they're just really useful for both um, not getting other people sick when you're sick and also preventing yourself from getting sick. So I'm here in Japan during the winter, so I see people wearing these everywhere. Um, and they're just really useful and also just 
kind of kind of like have a little bit more privacy in a way when you wear them but I think they're extremely useful um, especially when you're taking crowded trains and walking down crowded streets it's nice just to have that barrier to keep yourself healthy and of course there are the things that apply wherever you are when it comes to staying healthy um, and that's eating healthy whole foods staying hydrated by drinking lots of water and making sure you get enough sleep and rest so I hope that you can avoid getting sick out here, but your body is going through a lot of changes and adjustments. So if it does happen, I hope those tricks and tips helped. And I'll see you in the next video.